Okay, the next thing I want to do is talk about our interfaces and how we can save our interface configurations. Now, I'm going to bring up the graphic again. Um, right now, the CentOS server is running DHCP off ETH0, which is picking up an IP address from my wireless router. And I did that just to pick up an IP address and use that. But typically, if you're going to have this CentOS server, right, transparent proxy and router, right, it would be a lot better if instead of using, let's say, DHCP on the outside interface, if I'm getting it from my router, I could ha have it maintain basically a static IP address. So I could make this 192.168.2.102 address, instead of having it be a DHCP scenario, I could have it be a static address, right, and manually configure it. And then on ETH1, we configured the address to be uh, 192.168.111.1, and that's great. But the problem is, with this, is that we did it using the network manager up here. And that's this tool right here, this network manager up here that you see. And it's been recommended to me by Steve, by one of my former students who's uh, just the Linux head, is that you know using network manager in a server scenario like this is kind of iffy. In other words, network manager can kind of do its own thing. And when it comes to server or something like this or a router that you're setting up, you don't want um, you want to be able to rely on your configurations and not have those um, have the ability just to change at a whim. So instead of using the network manager, what we should do is we should basically manually configure our interfaces and then save those configurations so that if the if the CentOS server restarts, then the previous IP address information is retained. So we're going to bypass Network Manager and we're going to save our interface configurations essentially manually. Let's take a look at the current interface configurations. Once again we have ETH0 and ETH1 and we want to take a look at those. So what we're going to do is we're going to say ls forward slash etc forward slash sysconfig forward slash network dash tab network scripts and so we're gonna list this directory inside the root folder the ETC folder sysconfig folder network scripts folder we list that out and you can see here this is interesting interface ups interface down commands and then there's two files here these these first two files interface if config dash eth0 so this is the configuration file for eth0 and if config eth1 the configuration file for ETH1, and look here, if config LO, so that's the loopback, right? Let's take a look first of all at these files. So what we'll do is we'll cat, we'll do this and we'll say cat if config dash ETH0. We'll cat that out and you can see that it's a text file with a bunch of settings here, right? And you can see just the equal sign. So it tells the device ETH0, NM controlled yes. That means network manager is controlling basically this interface, right? And you can see that it's set type Ethernet and boot proto DHCP. And so it's running a DHCP um, and so you can see here that it's basically running DHCP and, and that's how it's picking up its IP address. You can't see an IP address here anywhere, right? So it's just it's set to be run by network manager and it's going to use DHCP, right? So we'll do an up arrow and let's change that to ETH1. And for ETH1, you can see it's a lot smaller. Device ETH1, the hardware address, this is the MAC address of ETH1, and then network manager controlled, yes doesn't show the IP address here it just says that network manager is controlling that so if we were to go into network manager up here we could find the IP address which we know we set to 192.168.111.1 so what we want to do is we want to control this we want to edit these these text files right if config eth0 and if config eth1 we want to edit these directly and that way we can take control of the interface configurations manually so the first thing I'm going to do before I edit anything is I'm going to back up the configuration files, the current ones. So I'm going to say ETH1 here. I'm going to say CP. I'm going to copy this file, 
ETH1 to the same directory sys config network dash tab scripts and I'm going to call it if config dash eth one dot bak so basically I'm going to copy it right and make it a backup file so I just back that up then I'll do the same thing but I'm going to do it for eth0 and I'm going to make that eth0.backup and then I'll hit enter so now if I do an ls command right on the directory you can see after doing an ls command right down here that I've got an if config eth0.back and I've got an if config eth1.back so now I'm free to edit these two files as much as I want right because I always feel safe that I have a backup version okay I'm gonna type the clear command here okay so let's manually configure our interfaces now first of all I'm gonna do an if config command and take a look at the interfaces and right now we can see that and right now we can see that we have on eth1 we have it set to 111.1 and once again we configured that in network manager right up here you can see we've got an X here and we no longer have an IP address on E0 DHCP and if we click on network management manager it would start to pick one up from our wireless router but since we want to manually configure our interfaces anyway I'm not going to touch the network manager I'm just going to go ahead and manually configure them and what we can do is we can use this tool as a guide so we want 111.1 .1 on this interface and we wanted 2.1 is going to be our gateway that's our Linksys wireless router and we can make this address any number we want but I might use a number under 100 since it's obvious that this Linksys wireless router if it handed us 102 it's probably handing out addresses starting at 100 that's typical for a Linksys type wireless router to start handing out addresses starting at like 100 so what we'll do is we'll start this manual configuration so what we'll do is I'll type clear here and then I'm going to do up arrow and I, what I want to do is I want to once again list those scripts here so once again we backed up our configurations and that's no problem all we need to do now is edit this eth0 and the eth1 if config files so what we'll do is we'll say vim and then no, we'll do this ls network scripts and I'll take away the ls part and I'll say vim network scripts if config dash eth0 all right and we do that we open it up and now we're in basically in vi or vim and we need to edit so we're gonna hit I for insert and now we can insert and we can edit this file so the first thing device e0 yes network manager controlled we're gonna change that to no okay on boot we're gonna change it to yes we want this to be active when the computer boots up Ethernet yes boot protocol DHCP well we don't really need that so um, we're probably could we could probably get rid of this so we'll say we'll get rid of that all right and what we could say is we can get rid of probably a lot of this what we need here though is a line that says I P A D D R for IP address equals and then what we want to do is we want to give it the number and so we'll say is 192.168 dot two dot and I'm gonna use 98 which is under 100 right so we'll give it 98 which is not 102 it's under 102 it's 98 it's not 102 it's 98 and that's fine right and the next thing we want to give it is is we'll give it now a net mask so we'll say net mask equals 
255.255.255.0. And if we want to, we could actually um, take boot proto, right, which was there before, and equal to DHCP, and we could just make it equal to no. Or how about none? That's better. So boot protocol none IP address 2.98. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, the other thing that we might want to have is a gateway. So let's put that in there. So we'll go in here and we'll hit enter and we'll say gateway equals 192.168.2.1 all right so there we have our IP address our net mask our gateway so this looks pretty good now what we could do is put in DNS servers but right now I'm just gonna leave it as is and we'll call this good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit let's just double check here none yep this looks good all right so we have network manager controlled no on boot yes alright so what we'll do is we'll hit escape and then we'll put in a colon and then WQ to save the file so now we've saved the file and that looks pretty good just to double check that we our save took what we can do is we can cat it and you can see that our settings remain so now we've basically manually configured Ethernet 0 and if we restart it'll be maintained. So I'm going to type clear and time to edit the next file. So now this time what we're going to do is we're going to edit the ETH1 file. And on the ETH1 file, network manager controlled, we're going to say, oh, first we have to hit insert, network manager controlled, no. On boot we're going to change to yes. And then we're going to say IPADDR equals 192.168.111.1 and then we'll say netmask equals 255.255.255.0 and that's actually all I'm going to put I'm not even going to put a gateway because our other interface has the gateway um, no gateway for this just this and so I'll hit escape colon WQ and so now we've manually configured our interfaces if we type in if config our interfaces are down we've taken control of them so we need to bring them up so we'll do an if up eth0 and then an if up eth1 all right, and now we'll do an if config, and you can see that we've got our 2.98 address, right, with our subnet mask is correct, and we've got our 111.1 address, right, um, subnet mask is correct, and if we take a look at our routing table, let's type route, our routing table, you see we have a route to the 2 network, the default route here, now let's take a look, default route via the gateway 2.1. So that's good, right? We know about the 2 network, we have the 111 network, it looks like we have a default route out 2.1, which is our wireless router. And so we're pretty good.